Another problem that we run into, and it's a very serious problem, is speaking without knowledge. It seems like the Muslims have a hard time in admitting they don't know something. They just want to jump out and give answers to questions. Oh, let me answer, let me answer. Oh, they want to talk about jihad. Let me say it. I want to say jihad al-Akbar, jihad al-Nafs. Oh, I know how to say that in Arabic. Ha! Or somebody else give a question about something very serious uh, about how you treat women in the Quran. Oh, I can say it. I can say it. You take a stick and you beat her with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Where do you get this stuff? <laughs> it reminded me when I got to Islam that when I was a Christian, I knew there were three words that the Christians have a hard time saying. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you can tell a guy just got married, right? And he's at work. He's on the job, and the phone rings. Yes, honey. Okay, I'll bring it home on the way. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Huh? What? Yeah, me too. Yeah, what? yeah me too. I do. Mm hmm Yeah, me too, honey. I, honey, I'm at work. I can't say it. I love you. <laughs> can't do it. Now, Muslims, we don't have a problem with that. I can say it. We say it all the time. And we say it with conviction because we really do love. And we love our wives. We love our children. And we say it all the time. And our brothers in Islam, and we say to them, I love you for Allah. It's easy for us. But we have three words that we can't say. It's really hard for us. Somebody comes up and they got a question. What does Islam say about beating your wives? Why can a woman have only one husband? A man can have four wives. And we're all going, I want to answer. I want to answer. Why? Because we can't say the three words, I don't know. In the history of Islam, we find that the best of the scholars frequently said, I don't know. I believe it was Imam Malik, one of the greatest of the scholars of Islam, Rahim Allah, who was in Medina. And I think it was from the southern part of Arabia that they sent questions to him. And he went through the questions, maybe 26 out of 40 or 40 out of 50, whatever it was. A, a majority of the questions, he didn't answer. And when they looked at it, they said, wait a minute. Well, how are we going to go back and tell him that, you know, we didn't get to answer Malik on these questions? He said, when you go back, you tell him Imam Malik doesn't know the answers to those questions. Who are we? Compare yourself to the great Abu Hanifa, Rahim Allah, Imam Malik, Ahmed ibn Hanbal, Imam al-Shafi, any of the great scholars, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Kathir, Ibn al-Qayyim. Can we compare ourselves to them? And the answer is absolutely not. Yet they had such taqwa and fear of Allah, they would never have run out to give these fast answers to everything. Oh, I know the answer. Uh, uh, uh. No. Another thing I learned from some of the best of the scholars on this planet, and I, I'm so appreciative to Allah to let me sit with some of the greatest scholars. Many of them have now passed away. May Allah have mercy on their souls. And some of them are here with us today, and may Allah reward them. But I've watched them. And it just happened yesterday. We were sitting, and I'm not going to say who it was, but we're sitting, one scholar and I were debating about a topic about the Salat. Another elder scholar was sitting with us, and I had an opinion, and my friend had an opinion. But when we asked the elder about the subject, he brought an answer that made both of us shut up. It was beautiful. Because the wisdom, the wisdom with the real ulama, is not only that they know Islam, but they understand what's called ahwal, the condition, the prevailing condition today, and I'm going to end the topic right here with this so that you get the picture. The ahwal today, the condition today, has to be understood before you can give an answer to anything. If somebody asks you a question, you don't know their background, you don't know their situation. You don't know anything except what you read in a book translated from Arabic by you don't even know who. You're not really giving them the right answer, are you? No.